How to Create a Complete WordPress Website with Elementor. In this step-by-step -step WordPress tutorial, we show you how to use Elementor to create a beautiful five-page website. Want to learn how to use Elementor? There have been many times in which I have gotten disappointed with promising premium themes that proved to be incredibly slow. This was money that had been wasted because there was no chance I would stay with any multi-purpose theme that promised the world, but ended up with pages that took four or five seconds to load. A disaster in terms of SEO. This is why I was so excited about the release of the recent starter theme called Hello Theme, created by the professional SitePoint team with speed and minimalism in mind. Hello Theme also included full compatibility with page builders, making it the perfect candidate to test with Elementor. How to use Elementor. 1. Install Elementor. In order to install Elementor, make sure you have your WordPress installation ready. In the WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins and Tom Add New and enter Elementor in the search bar. Then click the Install button and then the Activate button. 2. Edit a new page with Elementor. Go to Pages and Add New. Then click the Edit with Elementor button. 3. Insert an Elementor template. You should now be inside the Elementor editor. Click Add Template and choose from the wide array of free and paid templates. It is advised to start with a template to get to know how the different elements of the page are built. I would also recommend watching this short video about the Elementor structure. 4. Make the template full width. You can make any page in Elementor full width by going to Section 8 Layout and Switch Stretch Section to Yes. Watch video showing how to do this 5. Understand the structure of Elementor. Each Elementor page is made up of sections, columns, and widgets. Sections divide the page into horizontal rows. Columns divide each section into vertical columns, and widgets are dragged and dropped inside the column. 6. Add a widget. Let's try adding a new widget into a page. Delete one of the widgets in the template you've inserted by clicking on Widget and then clicking on the X icon. Then, in the left panel, search for the button widget and drag it into the empty area where you've just deleted the widget. Seven, change background image. Click on one of the sections. This will open the section settings on the left panel. Go to the middle style tab and click on the background image. Now choose another image and press insert media. Watch video showing how to do this. Eight, change fonts. Go to a heading widget on the page and click on it. It will open the heading settings on the left panel. Go to the middle style tab and switch on typography. Now under family, you can browse through the various fonts and choose a different font family. 9. Learn more. For a more detailed 30-minute video, see this Elementor Plus WordPress tutorial we've made not long ago. Inside Hello Theme. What makes Hello Theme so great for page builders, other than the speed and no fluff of course, is that you get six useful templates built in. Default template, this is the basic template with the sidebar on the right. Full width page. Use this template when you don't want the sidebar to appear and prefer the content to span to 100% of the width. Left sidebar page when you need to switch the position of the sidebar. Page builder. Blank. This is perfect for landing pages because you get a blank canvas, no header and no footer. Design the entire page with the page builder. 
page builder, Boxed. This is a very handy template because it removes the title of the page and all the related unneeded spaces. Page Builder. Full Width. This is the same as the Page Builder boxed theme, but the content spans to the full width of the screen. Page Builder for Hello Theme. The free Elementor page, Builder is the perfect addition to Hello Theme and adds a long list of design capabilities that does wonders for the web designer's workflow. It lets you design a website much faster than ever before. Among these features, mobile editing to visually design the page to be 100% mobile responsive. Pre-designed templates that let you quickly set up a beautiful page design with one click. Effects like box shadows and animations to make the pages more engaging. Template library to save your designed pages for reuse and for export. Dozens of useful widgets like testimonials and counter. Live front end layout, control to control the layout of the page on the front end. This is just the tip of the iceberg, and you can learn more about Elementor's widgets, features, and capabilities in over 50 videos we previously published in our YouTube channel. Getting started with Elementor. How to create custom WordPress layouts with Elementor Want to create your own custom page layouts in WordPress? Elementor is a drag-drop WordPress page builder that allows you to easily create custom WordPress layouts without having any coding knowledge. In this article, we will show you how to easily create custom WordPress layouts with Elementor with just a few clicks. Why and when do you need custom WordPress layouts? Many free and premium WordPress themes come with multiple layout choices for different kind of pages. However, sometimes none of these layouts would meet your requirements. If you know how to code in PHP, HTML, and CSS, then you can create your own page templates or even build a child theme for your site. However, majority of WordPress users are not developers, so this option doesn't work for them. Wouldn't it be great if you could just create page layouts using a drag and drop interface? This is exactly what Elementor does. It is a drag and drop WordPress page builder plugin that allows you to easily create your own custom WordPress layouts without any coding skills. It has an intuitive user interface that lets you build custom layouts with a live preview. It comes with many ready to use modules for all kind of web design elements. There are several professionally designed templates that you can instantly load and use as a starting point. It works with all standard compliant WordPress themes and is compatible with all popular WordPress plugins. Having said that, let's take a look at how to create custom WordPress layouts with Elementor. Getting started with Elementor. 
first you will need to purchase Elementor Pro plugin. It is the paid version of the free Elementor plugin and gives you access to additional features and one year of support. Next, you will need to install and activate the Elementor plugin. For more details, see our step-by-step -step guide on how to install a WordPress plugin. Upon activation, you need to visit Elementor settings page to configure plugin settings. Here you can enable Elementor for different post types. By default, it is enabled for your WordPress posts and pages. If you have custom post types on your site, then those will also appear here, and you can enable them as well. You can exclude or include user roles that can use Elementor when writing posts or pages. By default, it is enabled only for administrators. Don't forget to click on the Save Changes button to store your settings. Creating custom WordPress layout with Elementor, first you need to create a new page or post on your WordPress site. On the Post Edit screen, you will notice the new Edit with Elementor button. Clicking on it will launch the Elementor user interface where you can edit your page using Elementor's drag and drop page builder. Now you can add sections and build your page from scratch, or you can add a template. Templates are a faster way to quickly get you started. Elementor comes with several professionally designed templates that you can customize as much as you want. Let's start with a template by clicking on the Add Template button. This will bring up a pop-up where you will be able to see different templates available. You should look for a template that is similar to what you have in mind for your page layout. Now click to select the template you like and then click on the Insert button to add it to your page. Elementor will now load the template for you. You can now start editing the template to match your needs. Simply point and click on any element to select it, and Elementor will show you its settings in the left column. Now let's talk about how Elementor layouts work. Elementor layouts are built using sections, columns, and widgets. Sections are like rows or blocks that you place on your page. Each section can have multiple columns and each section and column can have its own styles, colors, content, etc. You can add anything in your columns and sections using Elementor widgets. These widgets are different kind of content blocks that you can place in your Elementor sections. Simply select a widget and drop it into your section or column. There is an extensive set of widgets available that cover all popular web design elements that you can think of. You can add images, text, headings, image galleries, videos, maps, icons, testimonials, slider, carousels, and so much more. You can also add default WordPress widgets and even the widgets created by other WordPress plugins on your site. Once you are done editing, you can click on the Save button to save your changes. Note. Saving a layout will not publish the page on your WordPress site. It will just save your page layout. You can now preview your page or go to WordPress dashboard. This will bring you back to the WordPress post editor. You can now save your WordPress page or publish it on your website. Creating your own templates in Elementor, Elementor allows you to save your own custom layouts as templates. This way you can reuse your own templates to create new pages even faster in the future. Simply edit the page you would like to save as a template with Elementor. In the Elementor Builder interface, click on the folder icon next to the Save button and then select Save Template. This will bring up a pop-up where you need to provide a name for your template and click on the Save button. Next time you are creating a custom page layout, you would be able to select it from the My Templates tab. You can also export this template and use it on other WordPress sites using Elementor. You will need to visit Elementor Library page to see your saved templates. Take your mouse over to your template name and then click on Export Template link. After downloading your template file you can go to the library page on another WordPress site using Elementor and then import your template. That's all for now. We hope this article helped you learn how to create custom WordPress layouts with Elementor. You may also want to see our step-by-step -step guide on how to speed up WordPress and boost performance. If you liked this article, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel for WordPress video tutorials. You can also find us on Twitter and Facebook.